Welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and today we'll be starting this up with the uh, Terrace. Uh, we did the prologue in the, la in the very first episode, and um, now we're going to be going around Upper Terrace. If you remember, we are playing a dark side character, so we'll definitely be doing things uh, not necessarily good. So we'll be having a pretty crazy uh, experience here. But let's take Karth with us and get to get to work. Okay, you alien scum. Everybody get up against the wall. This is a raid. There was a patrol here just yesterday, and they found nothing. Why do you sit keep bothering us? That's how we sit deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. Hey, what's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives. Attack! Alright, uh, so you just messed up by attacking us. So we're going to attack you, uh, just flat out. Destroy you. Let's see about Karth here now. He's got Karth's blaster. Alright, that's fine. Um, back to my character, and let's go. Hopefully, we can save the guy. There we go. Poor Ixgil, he should never have talked back to that Sith. Thankfully, you were here to step in and help us, human. This isn't the first time the Sith have come in here to cause trouble for us, but hopefully it'll be the last. Um, stay out of my way, or I'll kill you too. Forgive me, human. I only wanted to thank you. I meant no harm. I will leave you in peace. Don't worry about the bodies. I'll move them so it looks like they were killed elsewhere. That should throw the Sith off the track. With any luck, they won't be bothering us again for a while. Alright. Got us some weapons. Alright, he's not going to say anything else. Uh, let's move up here, and I think that Twi'lek uh, will talk to us. But of course, we're going to go in, break into all the rooms that we can, because why not? Yes. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. Just looking for something to steal. Stay out of my way and you won't You're get hurt. You're as bad as that pig Holden. I'll stay out of your way, but you're wasting your time. I don't have anything worth stealing. Oh, yeah? Well, you got a bag over here on the floor with stuff in it. It's worth stealing. Well, I don't see too many of your kind around here. Most of the residents in this rundown old apartment are illegal aliens. My name is Lorim, by the way. I don't care what your name is, and I'm not telling you mine. Look, I know we're trying to keep a low profile, but this kind of attitude will draw attention we don't need. Hey, I wasn't trying to pry or anything. I know people here like their privacy. It's just that I might be able to help you out. I know it's really none of my business, but you look like someone who might need to purchase one of those new energy cells. They're the latest thing, you know, very high tech. Uh, I know all about energy cells. Oh, okay. Well then, you might be interested in knowing that I have one for sale. It isn't cheap, but it could be the difference between life and death. You want to see what I have in stock? I know my kiosk isn't much to look at, but my prices are reasonable and the merchandise is sound. Uh... You mentioned something about illegal aliens living here? By law, most aliens aren't allowed to have their residence in the upper city of Terrace. They allow a few of us to up here, but for the most part, it's humans only. 
But no self-respecting upper city human would want to live in the apartments in this dump, so the landlord has been renting out the apartments illegally to aliens. Better than letting them sit empty, I guess. Otherwise, you get squatters and people hiding out from the authorities living in the abandoned apartments, and they don't pay rent. Alright, uh, I'm not interested in buying things, so I'll be going. See you around. Come on back if you need any equipment. I've got some merchandise you might be interested in. Uh, maybe. But most likely not. Ready. Swap over to Karth. He's the only one that has security skill on the team right now, so use him to get into these rooms and steal everything that we can. Sure. Don't hurt me. Just, just take what you want. I won't try to stop you. Okay, good. And that's the way out right there, but I'm not going to leave yet. I want to check out the rest of these apartments. Steal all this dude's stuff. Please don't hurt me. I have nothing of value in here. Look for yourself and see. Oh, I already took everything, buddy. Nothing in the little droid room. Ready. On it. It's open. And got a foot locker. And I think that might be our room. Yeah, that's our room there. So or our apartment. So now we can get out of here. Yes. I got a journal entry update. Rapid transit system. Alright, so that's just explaining that uh, transit system, which I already know how to use it, and I'll explain it when I go to use it the first time. As for now, we're not going to bother with it. Something seems to be bothering Car. Maybe you should speak to him and see if you can get him to open up about it. Sure. Yes, what's on your mind? Uh, I'd like to know more about you. Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. I've seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. With all that, I've never experienced anything like those slaughtered and sent animals to unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. You're talking like it's your fault, like you failed somehow. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty, but that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. Why are you getting so mad at me? It's not like it's my fault. I know fault. that. I'm not angry at you. Don't think that. I, I must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Alright, that journal entry there is just about talking to Karth later on. Kebless Shah. Let's see what she has to say. And I'm gonna save real quick as well. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Uh, Good day to nah, you, uh, Remember right. to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. Yeah, probably won't need any supplies.
All right, to Tina. And Tina. Christia, Nicholas, Baruch, Sarna, Parisian Noble, Jurgen, Yen Ginda. Don't see anybody worth talking to yet. I don't know if this is one where it's worth talking to anyone. Maybe Ghana Lava. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks you ordered? Ordered? I have no clue no clue what you're talking about. Who are you and why are you bossing me around? Careful what you say. I get the feeling this spoiled brat could cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. Shut up, you spoiled brat. How dare you speak to me like that? Daddy's going to hear about this. We'll tell Daddy about it. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're going to miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gerlon Twofinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan. And to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Gerlon Twofinger. Now that just showed us uh, the fight, and we'll be able to participate in those after a while. So, go on and grab a med pack. Let's see, a I'm sorry, human. The betting window's closed. No more fights right now. People are sick of seeing the same duelist all the time. It's bad for business, unless. My name is Ajur. I organize all the duels here. If you need a new face in the dueling game, human, maybe you want to step into the duel ring. It can be a highly profitable adventure. Um. I'm gonna be interested in it, but not right now. Okay, so we got to level up here. Let's go on and level up, actually. So we got persuade, repair, and treat injury. And on our feet, let's see, can't go up on anything yet. Hmm. All right, so let's get the uh, conditioning. There we go. Now I'm passing uh, this area right now for a reason, so I will be coming back later. And the leveling up too, uh, I'm not going to continue leveling up consistently, but I am for right now. And there's a daddy's little girl. 
you need a lesson on how to treat uh, your social betters, maybe you think twice before mocking me next time. You need a lesson on how to treat your social betters, maybe you think twice. Let's come back here. I'll take you out too. That's a vibra blade. Two vibra blades. Nice. All right. Speak yes, to car. What's on your mind? Uh, no I more. I guess I did say you could ask me questions later. Anyway, is this really necessary? Just want to know oh. you better. Well. Excellent. Soon all your secrets will be. All my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though you're welcome to try. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your perspective. I wasn't in a position to know what was going on. Neither was I, tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of the people. What? In the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? Why, are you accusing me of something? Not at all, I just think it's a bit odd that someone who got added to the crew roster at the last minute just happens to be one of the survivors. Are you implying that I had something to do with the no. crash? Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested a transfer aboard happens to survive. How would Bastila request my transfer? Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. Shouldn't we be trying to work together? I am working with you. I'd be a fool not to. I'd also be a fool not to expect the unexpected. You do know we're on the same side, right? Look, it has nothing to do with me personally. I don't trust anyone. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? You haven't heard the last from me on this. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Okay. Fine by me. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I'll not have it said that Zelka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the Rat Ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into Rat Ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Is there no cure? There is no antidote for the disease. 
though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rakgul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. I might be able to help you out. For a price, of course. I couldn't afford to give you more than a few med packs and a handful of credits. The medical center can barely afford to stay open as it is. But it hardly matters anyway. I don't see how anyone can get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Uh. Alright. Goodbye. I'll be going now. And good health to you. If you ever need any medical aid or treatment, you know where to find me. Not promising anything about getting that. We can bash that door open. Psst, you there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the rat ghoul serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. An offer? What are you talking about? Belka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the rat ghoul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Selka can if you can get the cure. Why do you care to get some Look, cure? Selka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. Why does Davik want the cure so badly? Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who practically give it away. Where can I find Davik if I want to Davik get the cure? Davik is the kind of guy you can just walk up to, you know. He likes to keep his business at arm's length. The best thing to do is to take the Rat Ghoul serum to Zax. He runs the Lower City Bounty Office, but everyone knows he also works for Davik. He'll make it worth your while. I'll keep your offer in mind. Not only the rich could afford the cure, just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rat Ghoul serum, Precisely. just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. All right. Davik says you missed your last payment. <laughs> Davik doesn't like you missing payments. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should find you some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? That's too bad. Davik's going to want to make an example of you for coming with us. No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we going to just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. Davik doesn't like witnesses. I don't like your attitude. I better teach you a lesson. I guess we'll have to teach you to mind your own business. Sure. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. Hand over all your credits if you want to live. Are you joking? You don't need this guy's credit. <laughs> Go on. We were happy to help. 
I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same. <laughs> Senseless violence. All signs of the dark side. Uh, so, uh, real quick, we're gonna go over here to these apartments, and, um, I'm gonna show you the rapid transport, which is explained in the journal, if you're playing this game as well. Um, now, you can go to your map, and you see at the bottom it says return to hideout, by you just press the X button. And then you can return to your hideout. When you return to your hideout, you heal up completely automatically. And uh, then you can transit back to wherever you transit from. So, transit back. And it'll take me back to the apartments. And my characters are fully healed. So, let's make our way around these apartments now. Break in and steal all the stuff. Sure. Who are you, please, Largo? Please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please. I don't want to die. Here, I've got fifty credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. Give me the credits, and I won't tell Davik where you're hiding. Here, take the credits, but please, just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding. He'll kill me if he finds me. I know we might need credits, but there's got to be a better way to get them than this. Nah, not really. I'd rather just steal it from everybody. Lie, cheat, steal. It's the way of the dark side. He says he knows nothing about Sith uniforms. What's going on in there? You're a little too curious for your own good, civilian. This doesn't concern you. I know all about Sith interrogations. This isn't going to end well. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform after the last interrogation. Maybe the alien really doesn't know anything. Just stay out of this if you know what's good for you. You're right. Do whatever you want. Smart move. This is your last chance. Where did you hide those uniforms you stole? I swear, I don't know what you mean. I'm just... No! Get in here. Search the room. I know those uniforms are in here somewhere. What do you want, civilian? Do you have any information about the missing Sith uniforms? Make it quick. You're awfully curious about this. Maybe a little too curious. I think you know more about those missing uniforms than you're saying. If I wanted uniforms, I'd just kill you and take yours. A threat? I knew you were a spy. Okay, so there's three guys in here. Where are you at, car? Uh -huh. 
Alright, this guy's running up to us, so let's shoot him first. And we're going to swap him over to Fiber Blades. Some Sith armor. Remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through their home? Don't! Don't hurt my family! Look, just take what you want and get out! You ain't supposed to be here! This ain't your home! <laughs> take what I want when I want. Now we get to deal with a couple of people up ahead. What is this planet coming to, huh? <gasps> Swami's just walking around the upper city. Since you got to Laura says you belong slumming. Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Uh, let's see. You better think twice about what you're doing. This might be more than you can handle. Uh, come on, fellas. This me ain't worth the bother. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe next time, Slummy. Come on, fellas, let's go. Alright. Well, we could have got a little bit of dark side there, but uh, it wasn't really worth it, so... So playing the dark side, I think I'm going to play more of a mild character because being just outright brutal is uh, fun, but it it's not how you would really play a dark side character. <laughs> Customer, come in, come in, Janice Nell, at your service. Welcome to my droid and toy supply shop. Always good to see a new face. Customers are hard to come by. A lot of us, a lot of the Therese and citizens won't even come by here. They refuse to shop at a store owned by a Twi'lek. They don't like aliens much here in the upper terrace. They tolerate us toilets, but they'd rather see us as dancers in the than successful business owners. You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. I guess stupidity and ignorance are never out of style. We'll see a few aliens around, but most of the non-humans stick to the lower cities. I've learned not to dwell on it, though. I try to stay focused on running my store. My selection is a bit limited right now. This is confiscated my assault droids, but I've got a utility droid you might find interesting. Alright. What don't they do? They're great at making vehicle repairs for starters. It'd be handy to have a fight small but tough with a surprising amount of firepower. There's no better code breaker or security system slicer around. Not that I'd ever condone doing anything illegal, of course. Alright, let's see your droids. I've only got two droids left. A rebuilt T3 unit for 50 credits and a top of the line T3 M4 model with all the options, but he's not for sale. Uh, I'll 
take the T3H8 unit. Here's 50 credits. You know, Barrio, and you see one. This little guy is as reliable as you droids get. I did the reconditioning on him myself. Don't worry, he'll follow you everywhere. Is there anything else you need? Uh, nope. I'll be going now. Maybe I'll see you around. Don't forget from the source motto. If you need droid parts, Janice Nell is your gal. Alright, and we get the little orange one to follow us. Hey, she ripped us off. Welcome back to my shop. Hey, where's that little T3H8 unit I sold to you? It blew up. I came to get my money back. The thing was a piece of junk. You ripped me off. Blew up, huh? I thought I'd take care of that little cross-wiring problem. Well, don't worry. I run an honest business here. I don't have to give you a refund, but I don't want to lose customers here. I have your 50 credits back. No hard feelings, right? I think you should give me something extra for all the trouble. What? I offer you a full refund? You want one more? Business is tough enough as is. You should be glad I'm giving you a refund at all. Maybe I'll just start telling people not to shop here. You'll be ruined. No, don't do that. I, I can't afford that kind of hit to my business. We can reach some kind of compromise here. You're 75. I think that's more than fair. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Nope. <laughs> That's right. Give me my credits. And your credits. Alright, and back there is the Sith base. And that's where we're going to call it for today, guys. Uh, so, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one when we go into Terrace, low, Lower Terrace, the Lower Terrace. See you in the next one. Peace.